Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence Product Expert. Today we're out here at the lake. We've got a new software update coming out. We're going to show you some of the features of that update. Those features include things like cell phone connectivity, Genesis Live updates, and for those of you guys with the Elite TI units, you're going to get engine integration so you can see how your engine's running, you get your RPMs and all that stuff on the screen. Today on the water, we're going to talk about cell phone connectivity and your Genesis Live mapping. Okay guys, the first thing I want to talk to you about with this new software update is cell phone connectivity. How many times have you been out there on the water, you got your cell phone with you, but you usually got it in a glove box or a dry locker because you don't want it to get wet. You can hear it ring, you can hear those text messages come in, and so it's either you stop fishing and you go dig out your phone, or you just ignore it and get in trouble with the wife when you get home. Well now, you can actually, via Bluetooth, connect your phone to your HDS unit and you'll get text notifications, call notifications, they're going to pop up on your screen right there in front of you. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to connect your Android phone, so like your Samsungs and your LGs and stuff. We're going to show you how to connect those first and then we're going to show you how to connect your Apple iPhones. Um, process a little bit different between the two, so we'll go ahead and start off with Android. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit your pages button and then you want to go to settings and then wireless. First thing we have to do is turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is tell it to look for the devices. So as you can see, it's found my power poles on this boat. And then on my phone, this is where I'm gonna make sure that my phone is also discoverable. So I'm gonna go to my phone settings and I'm gonna turn on my Bluetooth and I'm going to tell it that it's on. So now my phone has found the power poles. As you can see, it's found my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And it's going to ask me if I want to pair with my phone. I'm going to tell it yes. So my phone, as you can see, gives me the pairing request. So I'm going to say OK on my phone, and I'm going to say OK on my HDS. So then, I'm going to come back to my screen here. You can see it says not connected. So I tell it I want to connect. And then my phone is asking me if I want to allow it to connect. I'm going to say allow. And then I'm going to tell it allow because it wants to look at my contacts and call history. Okay, now that I have my cell phone paired and connected to my HDS, I'm going to go ahead and press the uh, pages key up here at the top. And I'm going to come to the left hand side of the screen and I'm going to scroll down until I see phone. You see the phone option right here. Once I touch that, you can see my messages. So you can see the text messages that I've received. And I can also look at my call log and see calls that I've received or made and things like that. I can see my missed calls, all of that. So all of that on your Android phone when it's paired with your Lowrance HDS. Okay, so now if one of my friends were to send me a message, you can see it's popped up right here on my screen. It says, hey, Jacob, what's up? So I can hit the view button. Now, if I want to reply to them, all I have to do is hit the reply. I have some pre-programmed messages. that are already in here. So I could just hit this one out on the boat, call you back later, and hit send. So now, again, that's with an Android device. So it's really easy. The other thing you can do with an Android is on your reply. You can actually go in here and key in your own message if you want to take the time to do that. You can also set up some pre-programmed messages too if you'd like to do that also. But if you actually need to tell somebody something, you can do it right from your keypad on your HDS. You don't have to pull your phone out. Next thing we're going to show you is what happens when you get a phone call. As you can see, my phone's ringing. My unit alerts me that I've got an incoming phone call from a certain number. Now, if this number's in my phone book or something, it will show up. But since it's not, I can tell it view. And if I wanted to, I could send them a message. I can't answer the phone from here, but I can send them a message saying, hey, I'm fishing, I'll call you back. 
uh, or anything like that, especially if you know it's one of your friends, it's their cell phone, you can send them that message right back. That way they don't keep blowing up your phone. Okay guys, now that we've shown you how to connect an Android device, we're gonna show you how to connect an iPhone. First thing we're gonna do is select our Bluetooth devices. We're gonna go in here into our Bluetooth settings. As you can see, the iPhone has popped up on the screen, so we'll select the iPhone and tell it we want to pair. As you can see, the iPhone comes up with the request to pair on screen. I'm going to say pair, and I'm going to tell the unit OK. OK, now that we have the phones connected, the next thing I need to do is go into my settings, and under Bluetooth, where it's turned on, I need to go to the HDS Carbon, select the I, and make sure that I select Show Notifications. You have to have that on for the devices to connect back and forth. So now I'm going to touch my iPhone and tell it to connect. It'll take it a moment. As you can see, we're now connected. So with the iPhone connected, again, we come over here, touch your pages, come over to the side where it says Phone, now where it says messages, you'll notice on the iPhone, you don't see all the messages like you did with the Samsung. And part of that is because Apple's not allowing all of your stored messages to come through on your screen. If you look at your calls, they show up in your call history, but not your messages. So now I'm going to send a message to the phone. New message pops up on screen. We can hit view. As you can see, you can read the message on the screen, but unlike the Samsung, you cannot reply to it. Again, that's a limitation based on Apple. It's not anything we can change on the unit. So, but you can still read your messages. And then if you get a phone call, as you can see, you get your alert on the screen and the phone number you're receiving a call from pops up. Again, we can see who's calling. We just can't send any messages or anything like that that you can do with the Android. Okay guys, one thing I do want to point out with the Android especially, is as you can see, if I've got an incoming call and it's a phone number that's in my phone book, that name does show up on the screen. Okay guys, so a couple other features that I want to show you that we've talked about briefly on this, is when we scroll down and we select the phone, so if you'll see right here where it says settings, you can come in here to edit message templates. And if you touch that, this is where the templates already are, or if you want to, you can add a template here. So you would just key it in. And you hit enter. So now, as you can see, there's the one we just created. So whatever message you wanna put in there, you can put in there as one of your quick messages to reply with your Android device. Now, the one thing I do want to point out is we haven't tested every cell phone on the market, uh, but pretty much any of your current up-to-date cell phones should be compatible with it. Your older cell phones, you may run into some compatibility issues. Okay, guys, the next feature that we're gonna to talk to you about today with this software update is our new Genesis Live. Now, what this is, is this allows you to create custom maps on your unit on the fly. All you have to do to be able to do this is have an SD card with space available on it and a sonar source on your unit. So as long as you're getting a sonar signal and a bottom lock, you can create the maps. So the best part about this feature is number one, you don't have to buy anything to use it. It's available for the HDS Carbon, the HDS Gen 3, and the Elite TI units. So again, like I said, all you have to do to use this is put in an SD card that has space available on it. So we've got an SD card in here. You can see we got it right there in the slot. We're gonna close this. Where it says overlay options, we're on the charting screen. We're just gonna go to a full screen right now. You can see it says overlay. I'm gonna to touch that and you see Genesis Live. So I touch that and as you'll see, an area starts to form around the boat. Now as I put the boat into gear and start to drive, let me get turned around here a little bit. 
So now, as you can see, while we're driving, it's starting to fill in contour lines based on the depth. Now, one thing you might want to see, if you zoom in here, you see this 23.5? Well, that's because in Genesis Live, I've got my contour intervals set on high. And what that does is that gives me half foot contour lines. So this is really important if you're fishing some area that's really flat and there's not a whole lot of contour changes on the bottom, these little itty bitty six inch changes, that's gonna give you defined areas where the fish, the fish are gonna relate to those. It's a little bit of a drop off or a little bit of a hump, the fish are gonna relate to those. So that's where these half foot contours become really important. So the other thing is, is if we go ahead and switched it to low, low gives us really good two foot contour lines. So we've got the range of low, medium, and high. And if you're in, like I said, if you're in an area where you need it, you turn on high and it gives you those half foot contour lines. So you get all of those bottom changes. So now the best part about this is like I was telling you earlier, there's no cards to buy. There's no subscriptions to have. All you have to do is take an SD card that you already have. Again, with these units, a micro SD card, no bigger than 32 gigs, put that in the unit and the options there. These maps are yours, they belong to you. So they don't go away. If I turn this unit off, the next time I power this unit up and start doing this again, those maps are still gonna be there. Now for you bass fishermen, where this comes in really handy, is if you go out and you survey a lake before fishing a tournament, you save these to the card, and if your bow unit is an HDS Gen 3, an HDS Carbon, or an Elite TI, and you have the software updated, you can put this card into that unit, and then that unit will see those contour lines. So you don't even have to have a separate card or anything else like that. You could just take the card out of your console unit, move it up to your bow unit, and you'll have those half foot contours right there. Okay, so now I just told you, you could move this card to another unit, and you would have those files up there on that unit. The other thing that you can do is you can take this card, you can put it in a computer, and you can copy all the files from the card. Now they're gonna be in the root directory, you don't wanna put them in different folders or anything, but you put those files onto another card, and you can still use it that way. There's no special encryption to be able to see it with another card. So if you had two units that you wanted to look at it on simultaneously, after you've surveyed a lake, if you don't wanna take the card from the back of the unit to the front of the boat every time you uh, stop to fish or something like that. All you have to do is copy these files over to another card, put it in that unit, and you're ready to go. All of these features are available in a free upgrade to you. So with your HDS Carbon, you get the cell phone connectivity with your unit. Also with this software upgrade, don't forget, you get the ability with your HDS Carbon Gen 3 and the Elite Ti, you get this free Genesis Live mapping. So again, that gives you the ability to go out there, create the maps that you want to use on the body of water that you like to fish.